In this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest mistake I think I ever made. Sharp King coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com, author of False Life Secrets, which can be found on Amazon.com. And P.S., by the way, like this video, share this video if it's your first time being here, and click that little bell below. That way, when I upload new content, you won't miss out. So, I got a uh, question from somebody. And he was like, hey, man, you know, what are some of the biggest mistakes you ever made um, just in general or involving socializing with the opposite, se opposite, opposite sex or just in general? And I had to kind of um, think about it. And because I made a bunch of mistakes. Oof. And, if, and, if, and, and, and really, it's not wrong with making mistakes. Just learn from them. It, it just, there's life lessons that come with making mistakes. See, we live in a society where they train us not to make mistakes. If you make a mistake... If you make too many mistakes, you're dumb, you're no good, um, you're not worthy, and on and on and on. Something's wrong with you, you ADHD, or whatever. You know, we live in a society like that. Everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be flawless, especially if you work these jobs. You know, you have to uh, speak a certain type of way, look a certain type of way. And if you don't look a certain type of way, they don't want you around. If you don't sound a certain type of way, we all want you around. If you don't, you know, and on and on and on. There's always something wrong with certain people in society. And so only a small percentage of people, oh, man, they're perfect. You know, they're eye candy. Ooh, the cameras is going off. Ooh, every, all the women look up to them. They want a, they want a guy like that. You know, it's lights, cameras, action. You know, it's that, this is the environment that we live in. Only us, you know, everyone aspire to be like that man or that woman that's on the red carpet or that's in the Hollywood movie. And on and on and on and on. And this shit will run you crazy, man, if you, if you get caught up in that madness. <sighs> well, the biggest mistake I made, man, is trying to fit in. That's the biggest mistake I've made. It's trying to fit in. Because if I didn't try to fit in, I wouldn't have never been on that hamster wheel. Going round in the circle. You know, I don't know if I'm coming or going. Yeah, I try to... And I, um, when I went... I think this is when I got out the Navy. I, tried, I got out the Navy. I tried to kind of fit in the box because... I thought that it would work out. I thought if I kind of conform, kind of, you know, appeared to be someone else, that I would be rewarded. It didn't work out. It, didn't, it never worked out. <laughs> every time I, everything, every move I made, regardless of what decisions I made, It never lasts. I always had to start all over again. It crumbled. It doesn't matter what I did or tried or even attempted to do. It never lasted. It crumbled. It went down like the Titanic. So I was trying to figure out over uh, years. It took me years to really come, uh, really figured it, figure this thing out. And I started sp spiring out of control at, at, at one point. Because, you know, when sometimes when it rains, it pours, man. You know, too many stuff was happening at one time. And I felt like I was losing control. And I'm like, man, you know, I, I can't get a break. Every time I turn around, there's something going on. You know, my, my car got broken in. My money got stolen. I lost my job. I, um, you know, people start dying in my family. Uh, 
people, some of my friends I was close to, they died, or they had a, they getting sick, or, and on and on and on, man. I don't got no money, you know. I don't know how I'm gonna make rent. You know, I was like at the lowest of lows at one point, and at the end of the day, I realized that the person that the that that the person it starts with me and ends with me. But the problem was I wasn't trying to be me. I was trying to be somebody else. And see, when you're out and about in the world, people pick up on that. People know when you're being fake or phony or, or not being yourself. They don't know who you are if you're trying to be somebody else. So I read, so I made that shift. And I was like, you know what? I tried what I tried what everybody else told me to do. I tried what you know. I, I went to college. Uh, you know. I went in the military. No one ever told me to go in the military. I did that on my own. And that worked out. You know, I don't have no complaints. You know, I'm all right. You know, I ain't, I got all my hands, my legs, my feet, my eyes, my ears. You know, I'm all right. You know, I'm in decent shape. But that worked, that didn't work, that worked out pretty well. But I didn't want to go to college. You know, um, I didn't want to take certain jobs. Um, there's a lot of things that I was told to do. I didn't want to do it, but I just did it because somebody told me. Um, it was just a thing to do with my family and on and on and on. So I doubt everything everybody else said to do. So I said, you know what? For the first time in my life, what do I, what, what do I want to do? So I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to figure it out. And I was like, hey, I'm going to do this. It's my idea. If it doesn't work out, cool. It's on me. It was my decision. I don't, I, I'm not, I can't call my sister, call my parents, or call some friend and be like, hey, man, that didn't work. No, because it's all my idea. This is my, so it's my life. So I took 100% responsibility for everything that happened in my life. Was everything my fault? No. You know? But when you take a hundred, when you take full responsibility for your life, you empower yourself. You, something comes over you. It's kind of like a, a different spirit. You know, so something comes over you and you be like, Hey, you know, I'm going to just do it. No fear. Fearless. You know, you you just do it. You don't sit around thinking about, oh, what the next person is going to say, what your mom going to say, what your girl going to say, what your wife going to say, what your kids going to say, what your sister going to say, what your brother going to say, what the co-workers are going to say. You just do it. People are going to talk. That's a part of the game. You know, my dad used to tell me, Rest in peace to him. He said, hey, if people, ain't, people aren't talking about you, you're not doing enough. And I forgot about that up until I started being, being myself. Stop trying to fit in. Be yourself. See, no one can beat you at being yourself. Nobody. People can beat you at being somebody else. But no one can beat you at being yourself. No one can be me as best as me. No one knows anything about me best as me. You know? And, one, and once I made that shift, everything started to take off, man. You know? And, um, wasn't really... I don't really have a lot of complaints, man. I just, I, I'm just like, I just live every day like it's the last day, and I plan, of course, you, I plan, you plan for the next day, but I don't sit around thinking, hey, man, I don't put things off. Uh, if I'm around people that I care about, 
I don't hold back. I say what I, I say. It. it might not come out the way I would like, whatever we might be talking about, but at least I put it out there. Because when I leave, I might not see that person again. There's no telling. There's no guarantees that I'm going to see them the next time. I don't see a lot of people that I care about all the time or every day. So when you live your life like that, everything becomes, you're at peace. Less stress. You know, I'm almost, almost never stressing about anything because I put everything out there. Uh, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm fearless. I don't really, uh, I get used to being uncomfortable. That's what you got to do. You got to get used to being uncomfortable. If you're comfortable all the time, you're not growing. You're just like, you're just there. So either you're grown or you're dying. You can't do both. If you're comfortable all the time, you're just chilling. You're coasting. Cruising. Through life. It's not supposed to be that way. It shouldn't be that way. So, the biggest mistake I've ever made is trying to fit in. Trying to be somebody else and not myself. So, hopefully, you don't make that mistake. And if you are making that mistake, I highly recommend you change, shift as soon as you can. And it's not going to be easy. You're going to get some pushback from people that's probably close to you. And that comes with, again, that comes with the territory. That's how it is. Because people who are used to seeing you one way but that ain't really you. You know? So, hey, if you like this video, share this video. Like, subscribe. Um, check out um, the, the join tab below. Click that tab and read all about how um, you can get more advice that's very similar to this video. So, until next time, I'm out. Peace.